Today we're going to be looking at the Velocity Systems uh, Scarab Plate Carrier. Um, starting out, I am not sure what the configuration exactly is uh, that I have of this. Um, they have a bunch of different uh, ways you can get it uh, configured on their website. Um, different front, uh, front bags, different back bags, uh, cummerbunds, so on and so forth. Um, this is just what I selected at the time. Uh, I've had this carrier for probably about uh, six years now. Um, it's held up extremely well. Um, it's uh, actually probably still my favorite carrier. Um, I've switched, uh, well, I've switched back and forth, but uh, I've switched uh, to a more low profile uh, option as of late. We may discuss that later. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go over uh, some of the things uh, that I like and don't like about this configuration and so forth. Uh, to start out, this is a small uh, size carrier. Um, now I wear, I like to wear eight by 10 plates cause I'm a small guy. Um, but even though this is a small carrier, honestly, I feel like you could probably squeeze in, uh, medium plates, um, 10 by 12s. Not totally sure though. Um, because the eight by 10s, they kind of slosh around in there. And I also use eight by 10 swimmer cut. Um, so there's a lot of extra space in this bag. Um, so starting out, the option I chose for the cummerbund was the full elastic. Um, I just, it's easier for me to breathe with these. I like them better. Uh, they're similar to the uh, JPC in that they go through the side of the back plate bag. And uh, one thing that I like better than the JPC is that you don't have to have all that ugly... Uh, an annoying uh, tying of bungee cord and so forth. They just uh, Velcro in there, so it's a lot easier to do. So I like that. Um, one thing I will say, though, that kind of sucks is, seeing as how I said I was small, a small guy earlier, I ordered a small cummerbund. When I put this thing on uh, with this, it's hanging on by the edge here. So... Unless you're like child size, I would order at least a medium uh, in whatever option you decide to go with. Um, other than that, like it's very comfortable, but it's just kind of a shitty thing for the size. So get those out of the way. Um, the front plate bag that I went with, um, I opted with the uh, female uh, loop Velcro Molly attachment here. Um, so you can stick a placard, comes with the clips. You know, standard stuff. It's nice. Um, it does have a pouch here if you want it. It's pretty, pretty nice pouch, I guess. Uh, I don't use those personally, um, but it's there if you want it. Um, if you need to uh, move your clips, got extra webbing up here. That's cool. Um, for the bags. Uh, they have these nice little tabs here hanging out. I always tuck mine in because I just don't like shit hanging out. But uh, you pull on it, open the bag up real easy. And inside, uh, how I was talking about your plates, or my plates kind of slosh around. They have a Velcro uh, thing here. This little strap that you can, uh, goes... Velcro goes about halfway up through the bag, but you can uh, keep the ride height of your plate a little bit higher. Um, but again, for me, because I'm fucking small, uh, my plate's still sloshed around a lot. So what I did with my plates is I took some Velcro, uh, some adhesive Velcro, and put it on the plate so that the plate actually attaches to this Velcro. So it worked for me. A quick little fix. Um, anyways, plate bags, nice, whatever. Um, on the other side of the bags, the, uh, side against your skin, it's very soft and cushiony. Um, it's not as hot as some of the other plate carriers out there, but it's also not as cool as some of the other ones. So it's kind of a, 
uh, hit or miss with that. I like it a lot though. On the back, um, some of the options that they had, uh, well, the option that I got, obviously I got the one with the drag handle and the uh, molly on the back. Uh, the option that had the uh, proprietary zipper for their pack, which is actually a pretty nice pack. Um, I didn't get that because it didn't have a drag handle. Um, depending on how you feel about drag handles, that may affect your decision. But this is the one I got with that. And um, we already went over the uh, straps on the inside. So um, the thing that I love and hate most about this carrier two-parter here so even though this is a it's not really like a low profile carrier so much um it is more cut down than like a uh agilite k19 or you know whatever something similar to that right here this really cuts in like narrow it's not like that big ugly you know y sort of uh shoulder straps that a lot of plate carriers have and i like that um number one again because i'm small but two because this gives a nice pocket for your uh, uh butt stock to go in here you're not like having to rub it over your buckles or shoulder straps or whatever it, it, it's a lot more comfortable uh the other thing too is especially if you're running shooter cut or swimmer cut, it allows you to close in your chest and your shoulders a lot better so you're not having uh, plates or whatever cut into you. Um, that being said, also, if you don't want to run hard plates in this, if you run uh, like soft plates, um, this thing, man, it's it's super comfortable. I've put uh, uh, soft plates in this before just to run and it's it's phenomenal uh velocity systems uh some of their other carriers like they actually um uh, format them i guess specifically for soft armor um this one you can kind of uh, go back and forth i bought this originally uh you know five or six years ago like i said uh for work and at the time i was uh I had a soft armor for it, so I wanted to be able to uh, switch it out for work and you know for personal use. Anyways, continuing on with what I was talking about that I love and hate, the shoulder straps. Like, this is where this thing shines. The shoulder straps are really narrow. Like, they're right up against your neck, but it doesn't rub, and that's the best part about it. These move. Like, they're on these, these D-rings right here, and they move back and forth. Like, it's... It, it's so comfortable like you really have to put this on to to appreciate it uh it, it doesn't get in the way like other plate carriers does it, it's it's just great the shoulder straps are uh a sleeve they're not velcro um i like them actually because it's not like a, i've noticed on some other carriers they're either really short or really long i because i'm small i have to adjust my uh shoulder straps to be pretty pretty short and a lot of times, like, you'll have the pads going, you know, all over the place. And it's just, it just doesn't look good and doesn't feel good. But these are, these are pretty nice. Um, opening these up, the other thing that I like about this is that uh, with the way these straps are configured, I can get the shoulder straps to be small and I don't have a bunch of, you know, flap hanging over on this side or over the front or I'm having to cut it off or try to stuff it down in here it just it fits well um so anyways uh got a double velcro thing here undo that and you'll unroute it through this d-ring and then this here so on and so forth um it's a lot easier to deal with i just i like that a lot um and with the uh way the shoulder straps are for me because i don't have a huge chest and super broad shoulders and so forth a lot of times when i'm wearing carriers if the back plate is right where it should be on my back, the front bag is way too low. So I'm having to either have the front bag way down low, or I'm having to have both of them not as low, but still too low. This keeps it high and right where it should be on the front and the back and the shoulder straps, or I'm not having to compromise with them. 
The bad part about this, and the thing that I hate about this plate carrier, and if you've had anybody that's spent any amount of time wearing this thing, they'll all tell you this. When you have this thing under any kind of load, if, even if it's just your plates, if it's just your uh, your chest rig, your plaque, or whatever, um, I don't know if I'll be able to mimic it here, but these things are fucking noisy. Like. can't really get it on here without it uh it, this is empty by the way there's no plates in it obviously um but it just it squeaks any movement that you have with your arms or shoulders it it, it squeaks it's like a like have you ever heard like a rope under tension like a lot of tension just that that creaking that it just does that uh it it's loud so <laughs> this is not something that you're gonna be sneaking around in um without people knowing that you're there. Uh, you know, if you're going loud, not a big deal. Uh, you probably won't notice it with everything else going on, but that's my biggest issue with, with this carrier is that, that noise is just annoying. Other than that, I mean, that's kind of nitpicky. Uh, also, this was the first uh, high-end, I guess you'd say, like heavy-use uh, plate carrier that I ever bought. Um, and I've sold a lot of other carriers that I bought over the years. This is actually the only one that I've kept uh, from early on whenever I started uh, uh, training and, you know, getting serious about gear. Uh, so that may or may not tell you something with this. Um, but yeah, if, uh, if you're looking for a different sort of carrier, uh, whatever, different from what everybody else is using, um, something that's a little bit more customizable, uh, you know, with front and back plates and so forth. Um, I would highly recommend this. Uh, you can also buy the front and rear bag individually. So, um, like if say I've got this configuration here, if I wanted to, uh, sometimes run, uh, with the zipper, with that back pouch, the, the, uh, rear pack on this, I could just pop my cummerbund out and, you know, have that ready to go. The other upgrade I would say, um, I'm not sure if Velocity offers these or not. Um, I, I actually put this back on for this video. I run this with tubes, so I, you know, undid it. Uh, I would highly recommend getting tubes for this thing, especially if you're running a, uh, uh, front placard or any kind of chest rig. So hopefully that helped you guys out. If you were just interested in this or looking to purchase it or whatever, um, can't really go wrong with it. Don't have a lot bad to say other than these D-rings.